Take up your fossils in style with the brand new Fossil Event clothing line now available in the Kristen Plays Roblox group. All of the links are listed down below. Make sure to use star code Kristen if purchasing Robux. Hey everyone, it's Kristen and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. So for today's video, I am going to be showing you guys four different building tips and tricks on how to create your very own dinosaur themed home. So if you guys want to check out my every room is a different fossil pet video, make sure to check that out because you guys, this one was probably my favorite challenge video that I have ever done on my channel. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to create your very own fossil dig site and lots of other fun stuff. Of course, make sure to give today's video a very big thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed with notifications on and let's Let's go ahead and jump on into it. Okay, so the first thing that we are going to be creating is the woolly mammoth wall. So this is kind of inspired by the rounded woolly mammoth fur. So it's actually super cute. So we're going to go over. This is very simple to do, you guys. So first thing we are gonna do is actually cover the wall with just one color. And this I feel like looks the best with this color shape, but you can use any of the browns. And you can even mix and match, like if you wanted the bottom part just to be a little bit lighter like his. Then what we're gonna do is simply go over to these simple shapes and pull out the large discs. And then what you're gonna wanna do is just kind of I'm gonna make these the darker color and then you're just going to scatter these evenly on the wall. We're gonna put, let's scoot this maybe over a little bit and then we'll scoot this one over just a little bit more. We'll pull this one up and there is the first level. So you guys can't see that it matches with the bottom skirt of our mammoth. So what you're gonna wanna do is just continue moving those up and adding more and it's just gonna have that very wooly hairy look to it so if you guys want to get a little bit of a better look on what this looks like as a finished room make sure to watch the video i did where every room is a different fossil pet because uh that room actually turned out really cute so that is just a really simple easy wooly mammoth wall idea that you guys are able to use in your builds Okay, so next one that we have is actually the dodo, and this is inspired by one of the Halloween tours that I did with a scary cage. So of course, because the dodo is a bird, we're actually gonna make a bird cage. So again, we're gonna go over and pull out a barrier because this is going to allow us just to build all of our chains and everything that we need. So first thing we are gonna do is actually place the barrier just a little bit underneath the wall because we are gonna be adding a little bit of, um, a little bit of a chain to go there. Then we're gonna go over to the simple shapes and pull out a large disc. And I'm actually just gonna pull this up a little bit. So this works the best, you guys, if you are using taller ceilings. Then I'm gonna actually make this I think for this one, we're going to do, let's do pink on the top. Then we're gonna go over to the light section, make our placement grid size too small. And then we're gonna use the $5 light bulb, the second one that you guys can see. And I'm just going to place a few of these because this is going to act like the cage walls on our bird cage. So I'm just gonna put a couple in the back as well and you don't want to put it too close to the edge because you are going to want your um, light bulb to kind of merge in with the bottom of the cage once we place it so i'm just going to do another one right here okay so then what you're going to want to do is put your placement grid size back down and then you're just going to want to bring this right to the bottom of your light bulbs place your grid back to large then we're gonna go over and choose a chair. And actually, I think we're gonna use the seat. Then we're going to grab this one. Now for the bottom, I actually think I'm gonna make it purple. So I'm going to make that color of the seat purple. Back to simple shapes, we're going to add our large disc in the purple color. 
Then we're going to pull out the smaller disc and then you can just put your placement grid to small so that you can kind of put that in the middle. And you wanna make that the same color so it kind of matches. Then of course you're going to turn your barrier on the side and then we're going to put this kind of towards the middle go over to your cute section and you're going to want to pull out the modern sign which is $150 so you definitely can't skip this if you are trying to save money and then what you're going to want to do is put your o's because that is going to be your first chain then of course come over and grab another one make that the exact same color put your o's again i think i might just do one for in the middle make sure it is going to be the same even and there's your chain remove your barrier and then if you stop editing you can actually go put your dodo in your color block cage <laughs> so this one is super cute super easy if you want to save money you don't necessarily have to add the chain but i think it is a really cute little bird cage that you can add for your dodos okay so for the next thing you guys this one is actually really easy to do so this we are going to be creating a dig site that kind of looks like the one over on fossil isle so for this one, I do use the donut rug just because it actually kind of looks a little bit scattered, looks like a mess and a little bit more like a dirt pile. So I'm gonna use three of these. You can definitely make this as big or as small as you want. Then we're actually gonna pull out the rolling pin. I'm gonna make my grid size to small just so that I can actually kind of like pull them around and just kind of scatter them so i'm going to put one there and this is kind of the closest thing that we have in adopt me that kind of looks like the fossils that you dig up so i'm going to do some like this then of course we're going to pull back out our barrier and we're just going to need one of those then we're going to go over and pull out a few of the pots so i'm going to make the pot the same color as the rug because this is going to look like it is over on Fossil Isle where you actually have some dirt piles that you do need to dig up. So I'm gonna put one there. We're gonna put another one. We can put this one maybe actually over top of it so that it's kind of blended. Then of course we're gonna kind of move it because you don't want them all to be the exact same shape and size. So we can do this one and put it to the bottom as low as we can. We can put another one over here, kind of merge it as much as we can. And then let's put it and put one like that over here. Then we're going to delete the barrier. Then what we're going to do to kind of make it so that people actually know what this is, is we're going to go over and add the sign. So what we're going to do is do fossils. And then I'm going to add three of the bone emojis. And then of course, we're just going to cover this up with bricks for a border. And there we have our little fossil dig site. So this one is definitely easy peasy to do. And I think it looks really cute in the fossil homes. Okay, so the last thing that we are gonna be doing is actually for the Glyptodon, which is one of my favorites. So what we're gonna do is start off by pulling out the thin barrier. So what this is going to allow us to do is to actually make different levels of our shapes. So first we're going to do the thin shape or the thin barrier, which is going to be removed. And I'm putting on the small grid size just so that we can kind of easily move this around. So what I'm going to do now, you guys, is actually use the pink and blue colors because this is going to allow us to kind of make that same color pattern that the Glyptodon actually has on its shell. So I'm just gonna kind of like merge these around just a little bit and I guess we could even put another one down here below as well. Then we're going to just easily remove those thin barriers and then we're actually gonna pull out the regular barrier here. So um, then you're just going to put your placement grid back to large and just kind of merge those in behind and I guess we could use this color here, the super bright pinky purple color. And then we're going to put another one up in here. 
then we're going to just kind of make this all pull together and match. So we're going to put another one. I think that one's a little too far behind. There we go. Then let's put in this one. Okay, and the last one is complete. So that is going to match. If I go over and pull out the Glyptodon, you can see that that is the matching wall for the Glyptodon. We also have the Dodo cage and also the fossil digging and the mammoth wall. So of course, make sure to let me know if you guys want to see more tutorials on how to create your very own fossil homes here in Adopt Me. Make sure to give today's video a very, very big thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed and hopefully I'm gonna see you all next time. Bye guys.